All right, so guys, welcome back. You know, every so often there comes a game where it just kind of takes you by surprise. It's kind of like considered a hidden gem. And I have to say that I really truly feel so far from what we played on chapter one, that this game might just be a hidden gem. As a matter of fact, I literally just finished recording chapter one and I'm still here within the decision tree, if you will, ready to just record chapter two because I need to know what what is going to happen to these characters? What's going to happen between these two families? And the most interesting thing is that this whole entire story is going to take place for 30 years, right? We're going to be uncovering and discovering what happens with these characters for the next 30 years. That has me like just completely baffled, if you will. But uh, super, super pumped. Thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in, for joining me. Sit back, relax. And as always, welcome back to another episode episode two of as dusk falls all right may 29th i told you i wasn't gonna hurt anyone but you are really pushing your luck Damn. dale get the duffel back we're out of here the shotgun was empty Oh my god. My god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I have to protect you. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! Dante, he'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. <laughs> the sheriff, oh my god. For those of you that missed chapter one, that's the sheriff this we is stole Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's booking to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Oh, God. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! <laughs> you can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah. I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Okay, so here we've got insult Tyler. Calmly defy him. Calmly defy him. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. 
No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Bro, now it's like we got these two characters. Oh, my God. Because we also play as Jay, rather younger brother, right? Keep your mouth shut. Oh, fuck. And don't make me come in here again. What are you pointing? You don't have any bullets. You clearly showed us you don't have bullets. What's that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yes, yeah, no good. That's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? Well, that might make some noise. Just thought I should let you know. That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. Oh, God. One, two. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Uh, sure. I can try. Wow. Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Hmm. Okay, my dad is sick. Zoe is scared. The motel staff is safe. Like, I don't know if I want to give him up like that because of Jay. Fuck. <sighs> Should have probably chose the last the Joyce one. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. What else? You're good. Keep going. Zoe is scared. Fuck. Let's see. My dad is sick. Zoe is scared. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but God, the things she's seen today. <sighs> If it wasn't for, for the younger brother, I wouldn't care to say their name. But I don't know if that's going to affect hey! the story later on. They've blocked the door. Shit. Vince, this door won't hold. My dad is sick. I'm, I'm telling you, that's probably going to bite us in the ass. Look, uh, my dad, he's got brain cancer. He isn't hurt exactly, but with all the stress. I hear what you're saying. We'll get him out, okay? I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. My God. What did you tell him? You see? You see? Nothing. I didn't tell him anything. Nothing. I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. What a 
fucking asshole. is crazy so let's see 12 years as a flight mechanic pretty high up then one day bam bits of engine all over the hangar two workers hospitalized and another in the morgue all because you left a lug nut loose on a DC 10 no that wasn't me mm. it was a faulty compressor disc the airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Hmm. Nah, I'm not signing shit. You can stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you. Trip. Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Okay, so we've got the AC damaged. Uh, do the dishes. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and fix the AC here. Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be. No, well, this is obviously. Oh, nice. Technology. Pretty solid. Fuck you too. I like it what? sweaty. I swiped up. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's bullshit. Well, that's embarrassing. Oh goodness. Okay, we can we can do the dishes, right? Like, can we actually do this? Can we not fail at doing the dishes? That'd be... Yeah, that'd be pretty All right, dishes done. I can't believe I failed the AC thing. That, yeah, we're good. Was, we're good. What's next? <laughs> that was terrible. Check the weather. Pack the boxes. This is probably what's most important anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Screw the AC. We're getting out of here anyways. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Oh, we didn't have to do anything for that. That's nice. I was actually expecting some sort of. All right, on the home stretch here. now. Never mind. Okay, so do I check the weather? I don't know if that has any significance. Uh, make dessert. Uh, let's go ahead and make some dessert. Why not? You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? All right. Let's go. Mm. Mm, delicious. Nope. 
Be nope. strong, oh, Vince. Disgusting. Step away from the chocolate. <laughs> I didn't fix the AC. Oh God. Daddy! Hot as hell Hi, night. pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Really gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today. So, I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. <sighs> Bro, that AC. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um. God. What happened? I can't believe it. Lost track of time, I tried my best. I tried, really. I just didn't realize how much was still left to do. And as for the AC, that shouldn't be our responsibility anyway. I'm with you. I just know what our landlord's like. You break it, you fix it. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, hon. I meant to. I just couldn't figure it out. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what? Never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate, Chocolate pudding! pudding. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> Vincent Walker. <laughs> you know how to twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? That was weird. You're Come texting on. somebody else. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? Hmm. It's okay to be scared. She face her fears. Hmm. We all have things that scare us. Like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. <laughs> okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Uh-oh. She left her phone. We're probably gonna go through her phone. And that's probably gonna be a bad idea. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Gonna raise her sweet little smile, Cupcake. One last drink. Who's Bruce? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. That slut. Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. You get them all the time here. That's fucked up, man. No outage. The damn sheriff. Gail, keep a lookout. Honest. 
Man. I need to get the hell out of here. I feel so bad for Vince, man. So now we know why there was some sort of conflict. She was cheating on him. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin could be useful. Can we use that to... Place like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. A window, right? So I suppose I could try the man. <sighs> Not getting out that way. The door? That's kind of crazy. Hey, hey! <sighs> I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. I can barely see us. Oh man, we're making Some way rope. too much noise right now. The hostages. Hey, did you hear something? Oh, God. I'll check the back door. So he's up there. She's scared of the dark. Oh God. Is this man really sneaking around in front of all of them? You. Behind them. You know that, right? Say. Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. This man's a savage. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. There's no way, bro. What the fuck? Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. Does she leave? okay to be scared oh. i know i did <laughs> but right now we have to be brave i need your help tonight i knew it do you understand i think so good do you think they're gonna try to come in warn him don't tell do you think they're gonna try and come in to warn him don't tell don't tell don't tell they're probably just checking things out. They're not going to try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm going to get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. See, that's why I didn't tell the cops their last name because of Jay. I think he's a good character. Well, he would play as him, so. Oh my God, fuck. Are you guys all right? You found her. Thank God. Where the holts? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrist. This is gonna be bad. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a cop. 
Yep, that's a cop. Okay, go. Everybody down. Oh my god. Don't shoot. We're hostages. Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? This is gonna be a shootout, bro. Shit! I fucking knew. Run for the door! I'll cover you! Gotta fall back! No, oh! No. Somebody's dying. Somebody's Sanchez. gonna die. Oh, Sanchez. Officer Sanchez is down. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's now or never. We won't make it. Run for it, stay hidden. We're just gonna hide. Just gonna hide. Just gonna hide. Just gonna hide. Think we need to go. It's too dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. No! What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! See, if we would have done something, they would have known. Like, the fact that we stayed there, they're going to be like, okay, you guys didn't try and escape, so we're not going to kill you. Something Jim. like that. <gasps> Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh, hurt? I don't know, honey. Uh, he had a tumor. Uh, Was the tumor in his head? Jim, are you okay? Uh, Dad! I got he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. Oh, it's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. Oh. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Why did you run? Know where you are? How do you feel? Jim, uh, how do you feel? My head's throbbing. Is Eddie okay? Who? I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to to get my easy now. He needs to see a doctor. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. Lucky you got me around to bail you out. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. Hmm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Oh my God. Two days earlier, Sacramento. Oh, man. 
Man, he's now he's just dwelling. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At you better, least we get one last California sunset. You better ask her about Bruce. That's all I'm gonna say. What the hell is Bruce? Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Six year olds, nope. Divorce. I hear divorce is stressful. Anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Bro. You mentioned the text. Do I want to kill the vibe? Yeah, I'm going to kill the vibe. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... He's going to be mad. Vince. I don't care. You've been reading my messages? Yeah, I have. Yeah, so what? Thought it was the movers. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't say you could spy on me. <sighs> Bruce is calling. Damn, I could have just kissed her and then he would have called anyways. Some things are private. What? It'll wake Zoe. What do you mean some things are private? Hello? What? Ha, ha. Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Wh what? Daddy? What? How does that make sense, woman? Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep, even with my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Always. Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. <laughs> I know kissing would have been the right choice, but whatever, dude. Who cares? I need some damn answers. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Cupcake. <sighs> he's very insistent. You like him? Uh, you never mentioned him. You never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Yeah, I'm sorry. I honestly, real life me, I'd, I'd probably refuse the wine, but I'm just going to drink it. Maybe get a little drunk and she'll confess. Whatever. Something about it doesn't add up. 
You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'll just believe her. I'm not going to be fucking beating a dead horse. She's going to refuse it right now. Or maybe not. But I honestly shouldn't be saying sorry. She should be saying sorry for being such a little slut. Um, no, there's more to this. I just don't want the drama to... to, to yeah. She'll come around. I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. Oh, she'll just keep cheating on just, us. <laughs> You said I've lost a lot this that, year. That, that'll suck. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Oh. Oh, all right. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Guys, close your eyes. Come on now. Wait, wait. Stop. <sighs> Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um, I'm just tired with the move and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. That sucks. That sucks. So now we know what happened between them. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... Hemorrhage. How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please. We gotta choose now. Just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. You wanna get them while they're hot. So send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You going for a walk? Not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Oh, man. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. I feel like... Obviously, the right choice... I feel like the right choice is to send Jim. Okay? Zoe, I don't, I don't see them killing Zoe. I don't. I want her to survive, obviously. I don't want to see a little girl fucking die today. Or in this game period. But he will die if he stays here. He, he will die. So we're going to send Jim. Jim, you have a head injury. You're getting an MRI. That's the end of it. Please. I don't need a hospital. Take him out. Grab the food. Come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. When I bump my head, hmm. Mommy puts ice on it. Maybe I'll try that. I love you, kiddo. Aw. Hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <sighs> okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Guys, uh, two more hostages exiting the fourth of the building. Wait, wh where's Zeus? Where you got hit in the head. Is it on the same side? That's what? That's the tumor. Oh, God. Uh, Vince, there is no tumor. How hard were you hit? You were diagnosed a year ago. It's in your parietal lobe. It's not real. What? I made it up. What? Look, 
A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed, and, and suddenly I was alone. My brother was long gone. I had no other family, just you. So I started to imagine being a father again. I'm going to kick this guy's ass. You weren't going to let me back in your life after so many years. Not without a good reason. No. No, 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 no. Tell me this is the concussion talking. That whole thing about coming to live with us? Vince, I don't know why I did it. I wish I hadn't. I guess I've just been lying to people for so long I can't tell the difference anymore. What a piece of shit. We... Why admit it? Why are you telling me this now? Because if anything happens to you tonight... Hey, hurry it up! Everything good I've ever had, I've ruined. My marriage, my health. Son, I lied because I want a family. I want you, I want Zoe. If we survive tonight, please, give me another shot. Man, honestly. This guy's never gonna change. He's a fucking liar. One last chance. Honestly, I don't want to, but. Fucking hell. One more chance. That's all you get. Thank you, Vince. It means everything to me. I literally chose him over my daughter because I, I should thought. go before he recognizes me. What? Can I get a paramedic here? <laughs> what is happening? Who is this fucking- I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Where's your little girl? She's still inside. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. This is stressful. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. This is now so. Pick him up and don't do anything stupid. This is so stressful. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. This is not good. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do? I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Did Grandpa see a doctor? He's seeing one now, honey. He'll be all right. Strange thing, though. I think he knows the sheriff. Really? How? He didn't say. But I met him and he was... Uh... What? He's up to something. Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. 
Is that a good thing? I mean, for us? You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. Fuck. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Bro, this is stressful. Uh, I just put yes. I mean, I put maybe. I put maybe. I put maybe. Depends. Oh shit! Look, I need your help. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? They took from me a black book. Need you to find um. it. Nope. Don't think I do. Why would I do that? Are you serious? Because you want to live. Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What if I'm caught? Try making friends. What do you them. mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? Mm. No. I said no. The answer is no. Dale respect demand pizza. Gotta make friends, right? Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. Well, they need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? Uh, reason. Joke or charm or reason. You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Hmm. Nah, I got this. Oh. Shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. And what you don't get is, this ain't us. Oh, he's gonna we needed money, oh. but it's not like Tyler. He built shit. You know, Jay's into nature. Me. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. <laughs> There's this girl I got here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit? I got no idea. Little joke, tease him, feign interest, offer sympathy. Feign interest. That sounds interesting. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. Okay, In man. Fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know. What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <gasps> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. I'm sorry. Uh, shit. It's not there. Thing is... It it's like this game is making us think that we should trust the cop, but in reality, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe these guys are not that you bad. You got after my helicopter? Him. Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, 
I want to have a talk. Hmm. About why you picked my house. Face to face. Out front. Or there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. It's... You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Hmm. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! Damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. <laughs> Don't get there. You're delusional. They're never gonna let you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. Come on. Please make it back. Guess who? Uh -oh. Dale fucking Holt. You were the ones in my house. Yep. Nice place you got there, asshole. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. <laughs> anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Oh! Warn Dale. Yeah. Yeah. Sniper! Damn it! Take him out! Oh, God! We're going back inside. Go! Go! Holy fucking shit! Jesus Christ. He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower. Oh. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? I know warning him was the best thing to do. Vince. 100%. It's okay. I'm all right. But we're going to be in trouble with the sheriff now for sure for warning him. But I really don't think we have that black book, to be honest. So there's something more than meets the eye. There's something here we don't know about. Something much deeper this guy's a criminal what's happening everyone is okay he doesn't care about that look at this man <laughs> now he's he's threatening us what <laughs> Wow. Bro, this is getting crazy. This is getting real crazy.
value family traits, kind, fast reflexes. Here's the tree. We've got Vince. Uh, cops invaded the motel, chose not to run. So that's huge. Here we could have had a couple of a couple of other choices. Maybe if we didn't believe Michelle, we would have gotten into some conflict back there. Okay, so Vince, Michelle, and Zoe remain. <laughs> oh my God, that means somebody could have died. So far, we are still alive, okay? Um, I'm actually kind of pissed that my father lied to us again, but that's fine. Anyways, guys, this game is pretty amazing. This, this, this game really is. It's pretty awesome. And I, I truly hope you guys are enjoying it. I know, again, that there's not a whole lot of you know, gameplay as far as, you know, controlling characters, but there is interactive cutscenes and obviously different multiple choices or whatnot, which make the game very, very, very enticing. Uh, so far, everyone, everyone is still alive, which is what matters. Okay. I do feel like, I mean, we got four more chapters. I believe there's six in total. So things are about to get a little bit more crazy. And uh, I hope you guys stay uh, tuned to the channel because I, I'm pretty pumped. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.